All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our SPI Community Roadmap. I'm so excited to be here today with you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. We're going to spend an hour talking about the history of SPI and where we're going in the future because we want to take you along for the ride. But it's obviously not just me anymore. It started out that way, and we'll get back into the history of uh, SPI in just a minute here. But there's a lot more uh, amazing talent here at SPI to help you, including our two amazing guests today. We have Ashley and David, who are part of our community team. Uh, Ashley, why don't you introduce yourself real quick? Yeah, um, thanks for that, Pat. My name is Ashley Legrill, and I am the Community Experience Manager for the SPI Academy, which houses two of our three communities. Been with SPI since June, former teacher, and I'm really excited to be here and help you all understand our communities today. Ashley is an absolute rock star. She brings a lot of curriculum understanding and expertise into our communities. And we'll talk about those things and why they matter and why they matter to you, especially if you're building a community yourself or thinking about doing that in the future. We wanna here at SPI lead by example and not just kind of tell you what to do, but also show you how we do what we do. And that's kind of how it's always been since the beginning. Uh, but before we get to that also, I wanna introduce David here who uh, is part of the SPI Pro team and uh, obviously here to help serve you as well. David, introduce yeah. yourself real quick. Hi, thanks, Pat. Um, I am super excited to be here. I'm David Masnato. I'm the uh, Community Experience Manager for uh, Pro. Uh, so you'll see me around that community, hanging out with everybody, helping people uh, get set up and uh, work through some of the challenges and successes and wins in Pro. Um, we'll, you know, get back to what that looks like in a little bit, but uh, super excited to talk to you all today. This will be a lot of fun and we want to get to know you a little bit. Why don't you, if you are here live with us in the chat, if you're watching the replay, that's okay. But if you're watching live in the chat right now, tell us where in the world you're watching from and a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Or do you even have a community yet? Or are you thinking of creating one? And then obviously there's a lot of people here who are already involved in our communities, which is awesome. Thank you and a big shout out to you. And uh, if you want to get involved in our communities as well, like uh, David was saying and Ashley was saying, we have three communities, which can be a little confusing. And we wanna go over why they exist, why they serve different parts of our community and what they're there for. Uh, and whether you choose to take advantage of uh, any offers to get in them or not, we want you to just learn about the decisions here because really community is the future of business. We're putting, in fact, all of our eggs into that basket because we believe so much in it. And not just because you know, there's more revenue opportunities. And yes, those things are true. But really, those revenue opportunities are a result of the outcome opportunities, right? The outcome of the students who are there. And we've progressed pretty in, in a pretty interesting way over time. In fact, I want to share with you and, and take you back into time to kind of tell you where we've been, because in order to tell you where we're going, we have to learn about where we were. This is where the start of SPI was. Let me know if at any point in this part of the presentation, you remember or can can kind of see uh, a recognizable web page, right? So this is SPI at its very start. This was using a theme called Thesis back in 2008. This was October 2008. And as you can see, there is like, it's just kind of barren land. And of course, that's how all businesses and brands start. You don't start out with 100 blog posts. But I really wanted to show up online and show people how I had built my architecture business online to uh, kind of just, again, lead by example in this way. So it was a lot of blog writing. I kind of hid behind my keyboard. You can even see, like, right there, a picture of me, like, wearing snow gear. I live in San Diego. Like, I don't know why I chose this picture. I think maybe because I was the most covered up, right? It almost represented how timid or scared I was to put myself out there. But over time, it changed a little bit. Um, and then it started to become more about like, well, what was I doing? How was I doing it and sharing the results behind that, right? It started with these income reports that were very popular. People started to see how much I was selling, how much I was spending and, and all that was working and wasn't working. And people really started to communicate. In fact, you can see even here, right behind my head here, you'll see some comments. This was the first time that I had sort of any interactions with people online. And that's how communities were initially started online, right? It was just kind of blog comments and people would link to each other's websites in the comments section. Your uh, name was even hyperlinked back to your blog. And that's kind of how we stayed connected. It was a very disconnected way uh, of actually communication. Then the website evolved into something that was a little bit more crowded, as you can see here, with a lot more content coming out, a lot more writing that was happening. And yes, I do have a very embarrassing picture of me with my uh, hand on my chin there, like every wannabe back in the day. But hey, you know what? It's okay because I backed it up with real information that helped people. And this is when I started to get invited to other podcasts and started to be seen as an expert in the space a little bit to help people with 
writing ebooks, uh, building an online business in a very uh, simple and basic way. Then it evolved into this. And this is where maybe I got a little bit greedy. This was maybe now more 2009, 2010, because you can start to see there's some ads. There's even like a links thing ad and a bunch of ads behind my head right here. And I even got some feedback. This is, the, this is where I learned about the power of community to help your own brand. In fact, this was some of our community members who said, Pat, I like the old website better. And it was kind of hurtful because I did spend a lot of money on this new design, but it was mostly to uh, increase ad revenue. And I learned, wow, um, more success can come when you actually listen to your audience and serve them. So we changed to a different theme that was a little bit more organized. I had a baby, my wife and I, uh, and this is again in 2010 now. And then of course the website has evolved over time to look much, much more professional. But as you might know, if you've been on the SPA website lately, I'm hardly even seen there because it's not just about me anymore. And it's even not just about my team like David and Ashley, and there's some team members here in the chat with you as well. Um, it's about you. It's about the community and the power of sharing those stories, the power of empowering those community members to even teach and show up for one another. And the cool thing is, and I've wrote, written about this in my book, Superfans, thank you if you've purchased that, uh, there's an entire chapter on what happens when you facilitate those interactions and bring people together. That not only heightens your brand, it increases brand loyalty, and it increases your revenue over time. And it's just such a beautiful thing. Now, this is, of course, still a website, and on a website or on a blog or on a YouTube channel, and especially on a podcast, the community is there, but they, they haven't really found each other yet. It can be difficult for those people to kind of even begin to interact in a way that is similar to how we would in person. So I decided in 2019 to actually bring the community together in person. This was an event called FlynnCon in San Diego where I invited 500 members of Team Flynn or the SPI community uh, from all over the world, in fact, to come together. And I had Shalene Johnson and Stu McLaren on stage and a bunch of other presentations, you know, it's sort of like half a traditional business conference mixed in with just the awesome community of SPI. I even invited my family on stage. This was my wife, April, on stage. The one and only time she'll probably ever be on a stage. She really wanted to show up for you guys, and she did, and she told stories about what it was like to uh, be an entrepreneurial wife uh, or a wife of an entrepreneur, if you will, and raising our kids, and this was us teaching lessons and, and whatnot. Um, and that was really fun. That was really cool. But you know what? We did a survey after the event and we asked everybody, hey, um, what was your favorite part of, of FlynnCon? Was it the presentations? Was it like seeing the talks on stage or some of the activities we did? The number one thing people said they loved about this event was the interactions in between all that, right? Like not the presentations that we had to book and you know all that kind of stuff. It was just the interactions that were happening in the hallway in between all that stuff. Right, the moments that you find other people like you, that uh, you, you get help from somebody perhaps, or even just turn around and say, hey, you're somebody just like me too. And I thought that was the most incredible thing because then I thought about it, I was like, wow, we could have just had a giant room rented and bring, bring all these people in and it would have been awesome, right? Um, that's not how I wanna run events, but that just shows you the power of bringing your community together. So since then, of course the pandemic hit, and it was impossible to put on the event. We were gonna do it again, but uh, we weren't able to, of course. And so FlynnCon was canceled, which was very sad. But you know what? We said, how can we take those moments in the hallways, those moments in between those presentations and do that online? Because that was the most powerful thing. And so in 2020, we decided to release SPI Pro, our very first online community. And SPI Pro has grown to become something uh, what I feel is the most valuable thing we've ever created. This is for people who have existing businesses already to come together to find other people like them. And what was really amazing about this is it begins to, after a little bit of time, you know, it takes a, lo a lot to put a community to, like this together. We've hired for this. We got David, Ashley, and Jillian, our director of community as well, and, and a few other players too. Um, it takes some time to get to that point where now it has a heartbeat of its own. In fact, there are so many things happening that just happened because we created the space for it to happen. And I want to show you an example of this because just the other day, there was this incredible, let's see, where are we at? Uh, we want to go here. This is inside of SPI Pro. It's hosted inside of Circle. And this is where our community can come together and where we have uh, a lot of interactions, meeting events, mastermind matching. This was just the other day. In fact, 11 hours ago, Colin, and a number of other people in the SPI community met up in India, in fact, which was pretty cool. 
And these were people in the community who were able to find each other, which was awesome. Just the other day, we saw Brendan launch his new podcast, Leadership Backstory, and he's sharing his wins there. And then we had Daphne, who got into a huge milestone with her email subscribers recently. She just reached 100,000 subscribers. And as you can see, it's not just her saying this to nobody. It's the community liking this, coming together, rooting for each other. And there's all these other places where people can get specific help for the needs that they have, which is amazing. Now, since then, and because this was specifically for a group of people who already had businesses, we've created more communities, which Ashley is gonna talk about in just a second here. We have the SPI learner community for those who are literally just starting out, but still wanna connect with each other. And then more recently, we have now the all access pass, where you now have access to all of our courses because many of you know we've come out with courses in the past but those courses are sort of solo adventures for people and oftentimes on those solo adventures it can be very difficult to get the help that you need to get through them and even science and studies have proven that when you go through something with other people you are more likely to accomplish it so we wanted to create a new kind of programming through our courses called the all access pass which gives you pathways through our courses. For example, the starter pathway, you can go through these courses here. And it, what's really amazing about this, it's, it's just that much more economical. And I don't wanna talk too much about that because Ashley is gonna take the microphone here and talk about that too. But I just wanted to give you an overview of sort of like where we came from and not just the evolution of SPI, but where we know things are going. We here always wanna go to, like Wayne Gretzky says, where the puck is going. And we believe that everything from community powered courses to just facilitating interactions between your people, whether it's five people in your community or 500 or 5,000. That's what's, that's what's gonna create long-term business success and future-proofing through all the tech changes that happen, all the platform changes and algorithm changes that happen. Your people coming together is the most powerful thing you can do for your brand. And it starts small, of course. And I wanna pass the mic over to Ashley who's gonna talk a little bit about some of our uh, beginner communities and the all access pass to show you how we built those. And you can pull inspiration from that and even get involved in them if you want to. So Ashley, why don't you take it from here and uh, thank you all for um, for the little history lesson there that I was able to uh, to offer you. That's it, it is always interesting to go back to where you came from. I think that's just an important exercise we should all do in general because it, it helps you realize like, wow, like you've kind of come a long way, right? And and you should be proud of that, right? Even if you just started last week, from last week to now, you've come a long way too. So anyway, Ashley, your turn. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Pat. That also that 2008 blog was just Ooh, a, yeah. a choice. That was wonderful. We've come, we've come I, I didn't a long way. I know what way. I was doing. Like, <laughs> and I had it's nobody all to a journey, to. just like you said. Um, <laughs> great segue. Um, we have a community for that. So. Um, if you weren't uh, tuned in at the beginning, my name is Ashley and I am the community experience manager within our SPI Academy. Um, and so what that is, I'm going to share my screen real quick, just have some visuals to kind of help us here. So the SPI Academy houses our learner community and our all access pass. Um, and I'm going to get in, I'm going to do a little deep dive in behind the scenes of each of those communities so you can see what they look like, what we do within them. Um, and then I'll hand it over to David to show you Inside Pro as well. Um, so our learner community is really great um, for brand new or aspiring entrepreneurs. Um, so these, um, we have weekly live events with replays. Um, I think the way Pat kind of described it as like those hallway conversations are going on all the time within Learner. Um, Learner is a great place for people who just want to connect with other entrepreneurs and um, might might still have those day jobs, might still um, do other things like that, might have those busy, busy lives. Um, so within Learner, we have very beginner focused programming. Um, so the programming that we put on um, can really be adapted to beginner level, aspiring, maybe like that middle level. Um, everyone is welcome there. Um, there are private spaces focused on maybe just asking for feedback, like, hey, here's a website I'm trying to make. What do you think about it? Can someone help me with X, Y, Z? Um, we have a place where we showcase our wins. We have a space where we help each other stay accountable. We set those intentions for the week and root each other on. Um, within Learner, you also have access to Team SPI. Um, a, some of us have been doing this a really long time. A lot of us are entrepreneurs ourselves, too, um, and can definitely relate. And one of my favorite features is within the Learner community, you also have access to private message other entrepreneurs. If you form that connection, I hear all the time in our weekly events, 
hey, so-and-so, um, I'm going to connect with you um, outside of this event. I really love what you said. I would love to connect and collaborate on this. Um, so Learner has the ability to do that. Um, some uh, recent topics that we've had in our events, SEO for beginners, setting up your podcasting studio. Um, we had a very hot topic on the other day with ChatGPT, all about beginner data metrics. Um, we Once a month, we have an Ask an Expert series with Team SPI. Um, so we brought in a couple members of our marketing team um, to talk about marketing strategy, email marketing, and we also just um, had a um, an event on increasing your YouTube video engagement. Um, and so like Pat said, all of our communities take place in a platform called Circle. Um, and here is what the learner community looks like. So it's organized um, into different spaces depending on what you want to post about. Um, you can direct message. You have um, access to our member directory. So if you want to search for um, other podcasters within the member directory, you could type in podcast and anybody with that in their profile pops up, which is a really great feature. Um, one of our learners said, I personally like having a sense of community and structure. As an entrepreneur, it can get lonely and you might feel stuck. Being part of this community gives you a community that offers support, accountability, learning, and networking. And that is exactly what the learner community sets out to do is just start forming those connections, start learning, um, especially for those people who are just starting out. And so the goal of the learner community is the... Uh, our members are going to gain the support and resources necessary to make their business both a reality and a priority while participating in regular opportunities to network with fellow entrepreneurs and learn from experienced entrepreneurs. Very wordy, but it sets out um, to show what exactly the learner community is because we're about to show you our other two communities. So that's learner. Um, so that is our new aspiring entrepreneur community. Um, now we have the all access pass. So the all access pass is designed for serious aspiring or beginning or middle of journey entrepreneurs. Um, so people who are in our all access pass are really devoted to learning and scaling their businesses. Um, one really great thing about the all access pass is all of our members have access to the entire learner community. So everything I just talked about, the all access pass members have um, access to. Um, the biggest thing is you also have access to our entire course catalog and additional curriculum pathways. And I'll get into a little bit about what pathways are in a second. You also have access to Pat's weekly office hours. So if you're going through a course, um, you're really unsure about something that Pat said, how to tie it to your business, you can jump on those Thursday office hours and ask Pat yourself. Um, we also have accelerated asynchronous cohort opportunities. I'll um, explain those a little more in a second. We have monthly exclusive workshops with Team SPI. Um, and so these are workshops that only happen within the All Access Pass, and they help fill those gaps that our courses currently don't cover. Um, so we are really watching um, what's happening, what you need to know about, and ensuring that education is available for you. And then, of course, um, like Pat said, those hallway conversations are so important that we have them in a Zoom room every week if you want to join. Um, we have weekly live co-working and coffee chats, and they've turned out to be one of my favorite parts of the week. Um, so some examples of those exclusive workshop topics, um, we kicked it off with goal design for 2023 with Pat. Um, I did a social media 101 workshop, um, the basics of social media, a quick overview of the platforms, how to utilize it. And then also um, building a brand kit is upcoming um, next week with David. And he is going to talk about uh, how to kind of design your brand, um, show you some free tools to help you do that best practices with graphic design, um, because not all entrepreneurs are native graphic designers. Um, and the all access pass. So like I said, you have access to all of the learner community, but you also have all of these spaces over here. Um, so we have all of this. Um, we have find a friend, which has been a really um, popular one to find accountability partners, find people who you have things in common with. And then of course you have all of our courses and our accelerators, which I'll show you a little preview of it here in a second. Curriculum pathways. Um, so what we do is we look at our courses 
we look at our members and what they need, and we put together a curriculum path of courses to help you reach specific goals. So right now, our curriculum pathways include starter. So this is going to help people start a business from the ground up. We take you from idea through website to really growing your audience to having a marketing plan with um, an email list. Podcasting, we take you from beginning, um, just thinking about starting a podcast all the way through having a podcast that is marketed, that is um, getting to be profitable, all of that. And then income booster, um, the income booster pathway, um, we have a lot of people taking right now in a cohort um, that's for those entrepreneurs that really want to find other income streams, that passive income to add to their existing business um, through three different courses of ours. And then our accelerators. Um, so an accelerator is an asynchronous cohort experience because what we were seeing in the past is um, we would try to have these cohort experiences. And, but the thing is, the life of an entrepreneur is all over the place. Um, SPI members are all over the world. And so what we did is we put together an asynchronous experience with opportunities to join live if you want to. Um, so we these come with weekly Zooms on our current topics that we're covering in our uh, cohort. We have a private additional accelerator space. So everybody in there is going through the same content, thinking about the same things for their businesses. Um, there are also multiple weekly check-ins to just check in and see how everybody's doing with the content, answer questions, and also at least one event in the community during the duration of the accelerator that's catered to that content. So we had um, that email marketing, like I said, um, that event go on. And over here, you can see what an accelerator schedule looks like. So we are finishing up one up for email marketing magic right now. And it's broken down at a pace that's going to push you, but it's very doable for any type of schedule as well. Um, we have our weekly rituals over here. Um, the Zoom times we do vary just so we can kind of hit all of those time zones. So even if you live in the UK, if you live in Australia, we're going to try to have events that cater to you as well. Um, accelerators are not a must in the All Access Pass, but they are a really great option for people who need a little extra motivation, need a little um, extra networking. They You thrive when you're working with others. Um, and we also, yeah, we have a testimonial about um, All Access Pass, and then there's one specifically about accelerators, which I'll do the accelerator one first. Um, so this is one of our current accelerator members, um, and she said, I've owned the affiliate marketing course since it came out, and I just never got it done. The accelerator has provided an excellent roadmap for helping keep me accountable, pushing me through the course, and tying it to my own business. And this was actually a quote I wrote down during one of our meetings. I didn't ask her, hey, can you give me a testimonial for this event we're doing? This was something that she just expressed to us that this accelerator is exactly what she needed to actually get her through the course. And the All Access Pass in general, um, I copy and pasted this from a post in the community. Um, and this member said, I'm sure you're hearing this a million times towards Team SPI, but seriously, thank you for putting the All Access Pass together. I've been toying with my idea for a course for nearly a year. Now I have a solid course outline and the start on a sales page. I hadn't even really thought about a circle community. Now I'm collecting email addresses to gauge interest. All this directly coming from signing up for All Access Pass less than two weeks ago. Two weeks. I've done all of this in two weeks. Seriously, couldn't have done it without you and the SPI team. So. Thank you. Um, and so those are, that's just a little bit of insight into um, the learner community and the all access pass. So as you saw, that learner community is great for those aspiring entrepreneurs. You're getting your feet wet with networking, um, some weekly events. All access pass is much more immersive. It's very learning focused. Um, I am there as, like I said, I'm a former teacher. I have a master's degree in curriculum and instruction um, to kind of just help you get through the material, help you learn. Absolutely. Um, so before I hand it over to David, um, I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to hand it back over to Pat to say a little something before we show you SPI Pro. Yeah, thank you, Ashley. And first of all, I just wanted to publicly here thank you. This is your baby, All Access Pro or All Access Pass, especially because you came in uh, fairly recently. Um, we're, you know, um, Super stoked to have you and your expert curriculum design 
on the team because you came in when we had uh, you know over 10 different online courses that were serving people in all different kinds of ways but as we've noticed over time and i think maybe a lot of you out there might have noticed this too you know completion rates for diy courses have been sort of lowering over time you know a lot of us are getting distracted or just don't feel like we have the time and really what it is is we just don't have the accountability either so Ashley came in and designed this in a way that allows people to, yes, get access to all of our courses, which initially when I heard that, I was like, that's actually going to be overwhelming for people. If, you, if you're just like, hey, like, and we've seen a lot of creators do this too. They say like, hey, get access to our entire library for thousands of dollars, which, yeah, it maybe is worth that much. But I mean, that's not a value to just give everybody all that info, right? But then she came in with, no, 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 they go through them in a specific order. And we can even take groups of them through these things together. And I'm like, oh, SPI is now like, like a university that you are now a part of. And you can take part in these sort of groups of people who go through these different things together. You always have access to all of them, but you only need to go through the ones that matter to you right now. But what's beautiful is now that you're done with perhaps that first group or accelerator is actually called it. Um, there might be another one coming up for your next step or the next step after that. And again, the fact that you're doing this together with other people is really special. So Ashley, thank you so much, because really this is uh, what we're putting most of our focus on as a, a team here into the future, because I feel like it is our responsibility to create an environment that allows people to have the highest chance to get results. And this is this is definitely it. Uh, and I'm glad we have this opportunity here to kind of share how that is as well. And, and definitely something for you to pay attention to as well in terms of the future and how you educate your audience. And it's really important to listen to and keep track of the metrics, all those things and conversations with our own communities have influenced these decisions to move this direction in SPI. Um, the other beautiful part about this is the just the barrier to entry is even lower, right? We sell our courses individually for $500 and you're on your own <laughs> versus for 59 a month, for example, uh, which is much, much less, you can already get access to all the courses, but the community and the guidance and the access to myself during office hours, access to the team. And then the other important part that I wanted to pull out that is very a very important lesson for anybody building communities is this being cognizant of the time zones, right? There, are, at least for us, is a worldwide audience and a worldwide community. So for a while, it was just US-based times for a lot of these live events and things like that. But recently with the accelerator, especially, which is asynchronous, right? They're not meetings at a specific time every week. It's get your stuff done and then let's talk about it. And then there's help if you need it. Um, inside of Pro, which we'll get to in just a moment here, uh, we now have, for example, uh, not just one ask me anything that I do every single month, but there's two, one for the US time zone, one for Oceana. And again, just paying attention to who's in your audience and making sure everybody's getting value is really, really key. So just wanted to share that with y'all and, um, uh, Del, Deluded says, if it's all about course completion, then won't people leave the community when they're done? Yeah, exactly. Which is why course completion is just a part of the process because your way to course completion is through community and you're gonna build some friends and accountability and there's always a next step. And to know where that next step is and to go to that next step with other people is what, pe what will keep people in. And truthfully, if people come in because they want course uh, information and then they get what they need, then that's great too, right? But we know that the community is going to be what the most powerful thing is uh, for people's success in the future. And that's why we're here. So anyway, I'll answer more questions at the end. I'm collecting a few of them. But let me hand the mic over to David, who's going to talk about, uh, in fact, our first community that we created called SPI Pro, who it's for, what's all involved. And then you can model a community like uh, that in your own uh, business as well. So, David, why don't you take it? Amazing. Thank you, Pat and um, Ashley. I It's I know we've been like super close to the um to the all access pass project since since we started talking about it and and ideating it and it's still so exciting to like see it working and seeing people talk about it and just like every time we look at it and review it as a group it's like it, it just it's further confirmation that it's the right call for us um but let's shift gears a bit we're going to talk a bit about pro um and what it is so this is i just pulled this straight from our website but we're gonna uh i mean i want to make sure i'm really showing you like how we put this in action pro is a private community uh it's for growth-minded entrepreneurs um we're trying to put you together with people who are at a similar stage of their business so that you can learn from each other 
you can get to know each other, you can build together, share your successes, share your struggles. It's it's a meaningful community. We're not we're getting we're cutting through the spam, we're cutting through trolling. This is a curated moderated community of entrepreneurs looking for the same thing. Um and that's that's the key thing here, right? You've established a business at this point. You're not kind of trying to figure out, well, do I want to start a business? What do I want to focus on? Like you've established your business, you're making income. It's time to connect with people who are at the same stage as you so that you can bring it to the next level. So how are we going to help you do that? Um, wanted to show you a few sections of our circle community here. We've got our member center and community where th this is like kind of the, the meat of where things are happening in pro. Um, and we've tried to make this as easy to navigate as possible. So in our member center, you're going to find our start here section, which is where we onboard you. We get you coordinated in circle. Um, it's also where you're going to find our event schedule and replays, which I'm going to get into in a little bit and general announcements. Um, and then community is where we're going to do a lot of our just talking and connecting. So we encourage you when you join to say hello and introduce yourself to everyone. Um, those posts always get a ton of response. People will jump in. They'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm in that same same field as you. Let's let's connect off, you know, in DMs. It's it's awesome. Um, this is also where we have our you know, just general asking for feedback on things. We've got people all week long tossing up problems and questions and getting responses on those. Um, we're sharing wins in here. This is, you know, successes, but also the spaces, you know, we're welcome to post things that maybe aren't necessarily a win and like a, a, a learning moment or a teaching moment can live in there as well. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about Pat's AMAs uh, that happen every month. Those happen in Pat's corner. Um, and our break room is, you know, one of the big things about pro, and I think this carries over into all of our communities and is kind of a, I think a very important thing of community in general, no matter what your community is centered around is we are people, we're, we're people beyond our businesses and our, our, you know, entrepreneurial goals. So we want to get to know you as a person. Who are you? We want to know about your business. We're excited about your business, but tell us about you. Um, and the break room is a great place to get to know people, what what drives them, what they're passionate about outside of, you know, just the the nine to five. Um, I mentioned live events. We we kind of categorize these in a, in a couple different buckets. Uh, Ask SPI, the, we have these ev uh, events almost weekly. These are opportunities to chat with members of our team about a variety of topics. You know, I, I can't remember if it was Pat or Ashley who mentioned this earlier, but we've got a team of like 10 or so folks who have been been doing this, been, been in all areas. <laughs> uh, we, we've got teachers, we've got YouTubers, podcasters, uh, CEOs, like we, we're all coming at this from different angles and we have a lot of expertise and knowledge we want to share with you not only about how we do things at SPI but how we've done things in other organizations so ask SPI are super uh conversational and uh um uh fun events where we, we can really dig deep into some topics that we're all passionate about and have a lot of expertise in uh, we do a monthly Ask an Expert event where we bring in someone uh, from the outside to talk about um, their businesses. So, like you know, you can see in our recent events, we a couple months ago we had Ali Abdal on, which was so cool, uh, hanging out with him, talking to him, picking his brain about how he built his channel and uh, made a made a massive life changing career pivot. Um, we've got monthly networking events. These ones are actually open to the public. So if you're watching this and you're trying to get a sense of like, what's the vibe? Is this right for me? Come join us for a monthly networking event. They're great. Um, our CEO, Matt, uh, started an event. We actually had our first one last, uh, yesterday, uh, the B side where it does a deep dive into some, you know, financial, um, questions and answers. Uh, we already mentioned Pat's AMAs. He does two a month. Um, you know, we one of the things we've mentioned a few times is we are a global community. So we're really putting a big push 
uh, into this year of upping up our programming in Oceania. Um, so Pat's got his Oceania AMA. We've got the uh, more US friendly uh, AMA. Um, we're introducing some uh, um, Ask an Expert events that'll be happening in an Oceania time zone. So we've got you covered no matter where you are on the planet. Um, and then I think one of the most exciting event types we have in pro are our member led events where pros are saying, hey, you know what? I think I want to do a, a session on, you know, we had a uh, Brian, um, one of our pros, ha- led an event on Chat uh, GPT a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Brian's actually done a bunch of fantastic member led events recently. Um, another one of our members, NV, does a um, monthly tech talk uh, event where she kind of breaks down some some tools and tech that she's been using recently. So huge, huge span of of categories and topics and things that come in there. Um, but this is what one of the benefits of being a pro is that this live event programming is way more frequent and way more dialed in than what you might see in the other two communities. Um, so really cool stuff here. Um, and then the other thing you'll find in pro that you won't find in the other two are masterminds. Um, so we've got a couple different things, uh, a couple different routes for you uh, to try and match your uh, your business needs, but also your time needs and your scheduling needs. Uh, we've got our mastermind hub, which is uh, where you find out all the information about how to join masterminds, start masterminds, um, recruit folks for the masterminds that you run. Um, mastermind connections is where folks from different masterminds can kind of bounce ideas off of each other, meet each other so that they can kind of join each other's groups. We're really excited in the next few weeks. I'm hoping end of February, maybe early March, we are launching a course called Mastermind Leader 101, which will be our new onboarding ramp for new leaders. Um, We want to bring you the tools to get your group up and running as quickly as possible. Um, And we're really excited to offer this one because it's going to help our masterminds get off up and running on a really good uh unified place. But we're also excited to offer this because you might be thinking about bringing a mastermind system into your community or your business, and you can use the same tools from this course and bring them to what you're doing. Um, Really exciting stuff. And then we have a few other places in pro. Uh, We have these monetization and audience building um, subspaces. These aren't masterminds, but if you're looking at this and you're thinking, I don't know if I can do the weekly, bi-weekly commitment of being in a mastermind, this might be the option for you. These are dedicated spaces in pro where you can talk about specific topics. So if you're maybe, you know, need some advice on your YouTube channel, you might want to go down to the YouTube section of audience building and ask some specific pointed questions about YouTube. So that other pros who are in that same space as you can jump in and answer those questions. Um, Focus conversations without the time commitment of a mastermind. Um, And then I want to get to a few testimonials. So um, these are these are so fun to read. But like in, in a few months of joining SPI Pro, I found I found the help I needed to launch my first book, segment my email list, find contract help, and to strategically plan my content and launches. Um, there is truly something for every entrepreneur in SPI Pro, and I can't agree more with that. We really try to cover as much and everything as possible for everyone. Um, and then this one here is like, this one was really special to me because this came totally unprompted in a DM with someone who's fairly new and we've we've been chatting you know for the past few weeks and this just came out of nowhere and it, it is so awesome um she said I love logging into pro because I don't feel like I'm alone anymore to see so many other people out there working towards the same thing and supporting each other is amazing and the community administration is amazing the checking in the answers the connecting it's brilliant I hope that my community has some of the same genie in a bottle that pro has um and and it does I've I've seen what she's working on it rules um so it's it's really cool that we've 
we've been able to help her out, give her that feeling of not being alone and working through this alone. We're here for you. We want to help you. The other members of our community want to help you. Um, so um, really good stuff. And then this is the uh, the last slide I've got. You know, we've talked about the three communities, and I, I, I think you know Pat and Ashley might want to jump in a little bit here. But these are this is the pricing. This is the this is what you will what you're kind of comparing. Um, Ashley talked a little bit about how all access. If you're in all access, you also have access to learner. Um, similar is true for pro. If you are in pro, you also gain access to learner. The big thing to point out here, though, is if you were in pro, you do not have access to all access pass. Those are two separate um, subscriptions. Um, and right now you're looking at the quarterly prices, but we also have our annual pricing for these on our website. Um, so that's everything I've got for pro. I stopped looking at the chat while I was talking, but um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm right sure there. it's been I'm well sure done. it's been active. Thank you. You've been so instrumental in helping to facilitate Pro and even uh, innovate in there as well. Um, and I, I appreciate you for that. So um, if you'd like to check out these communities, I'm going to answer a bunch of questions here in just a second and talk a little bit more about some of the lessons that you can learn from sort of, again, the direction that we are moving forward in in this world of entrepreneurship. Uh, all you have to do is go to smartpassiveincome.com slash community and you could see those there and uh, take part in the ones that make sense for you. Now, there was a question here about like getting trial access to something, for example, to see what it's like. And the truth is, and this is partly why we uh, have payment plans that are more on a quarterly or annual basis, not a monthly basis. And the reason is because we want you to commit to at least a few months in there to get the true value out of it, right? Um, the connections and the friendships that you make are really important. We try to facilitate that. David talked about inside of SPI Pro, the idea of bringing these masterminds together. And that's something that was a very tall order for us. It can be very difficult to um, not just like put people in the same room, but then introduce the right people to each other and have them facilitate these uh, interactions, often weekly or perhaps even monthly. And now, hopefully, as we've seen, uh, if you were here earlier, I showed you that there were a couple of people who met up in India who were on travel together and ended up uh, having a having a, a meeting um, in person. And that's something we'd love to do more of uh, and facilitate as well across all these different um, communities and, and membership levels. So, uh, you know, again, knowing who it is in your audience and what they need is going to be really important. So our audience is made up of different levels, which is why we have these different levels. Some of our audience doesn't need access to courses and doesn't need to go through groups to, you know, be held accountable and actually reach their goals while others do, which is why we have the all access pass. Others just want sort of like a space to run ideas and to connect and to network and to share wins and also ask questions. That's where if you're a beginner learner can come in or if you are a more advanced pro can come into play as well. And, you know, I was reading my book here super fans are not reading it because it's I wrote it, but uh, going through it and um, looking at some sections that were really important. There's an entire chapter here on building communities and, and why this is so important. And again, it really just comes down to allowing people to find each other. I want to tell you a quick story. You know, I was at an event in person in 2013 in St. Louis. It was FinCon. Anybody go to FinCon before? Not FlynnCon, but FinCon, the financial blogger conference. And at this time, every time I spoke somewhere, I would rent out like a restaurant or a bar or something and just kind of invite fans and other people uh, who were there in the community together. And it was always an amazing time, right? It, was, it, it almost for me felt like a wedding where like if you're the bride or groom, you like say hi to somebody really quick and then you go to the next table and then you say hi and you go to the next table. And I was just like making sure I said hi and thank you to everybody who was there. There was maybe 50 or 60 people who showed up to this pizza joint. We, we were having drinks and food and, and having a good time meeting each other. And, it, you know, you could see it from, you know, the opposite side of the window. There's just groups of people who had never met each other before who are having these really cool in-depth conversations because they all had that common thing of, hey, I'm an entrepreneur too, just like you, and what are you doing? And now there's some common language between those groups of people too. And I remember on the way back to the hotel that night after the restaurant shut down, there was this woman who uh, I had seen for the first time that night. I was like kind of uh, taken aback that I didn't run into her all night. And I felt kind of bad because I wanted to spend time to talk to everybody. So on the way back, I, I walked next to her and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm so sorry 
that we didn't get a chance to meet, um, you know, uh, thankful that you're here. Maybe we can meet up tomorrow after the event or something. And she, we stop. The rest of the group keeps going. She turns to me and she says, Pat, uh, I don't want you to take any offense to this, but I wasn't here to see you. And I was like, the, the, okay. And she's like, no, no, Pat, I love your brand. I listen to your podcast every single week. Thank you for that. But I never, ever get a chance to put myself in the same room with other people who are just like me. And so I wanted to thank you for A, the free pizza, and B, allowing me to find other people like me because, and, and, and you could just see the glow in her face uh, with being able to connect. And she's like, I got like phone numbers from people. We're going to meet up tomorrow. We're going to like, I'm, these might be potential partners, like who knows, but I just want to thank you for that. And that was really cool. Right. And that really speaks to this whole idea of community, which is like, especially if you're a brand and especially if you're a personal brand creating community, yes, maybe you are the, the glue between everybody or you are the reason why they are interested in that thing in the first place, but it's taking that commonality and expanding on it amongst all the people who are there who want to connect with each other because again people want to find this is just human nature right we want to be around people who are like us because there's safety in numbers and again you can be the person to facilitate those interactions so i appreciate you and again if you don't know who we are we're, we're at spi i know there's some people who came in maybe late uh we help people create businesses and in the in, in the beginning it was helping people blog because that's how you could potentially make money then it was how to create online courses. And we still teach people how to do that, how to podcast. We've been known for teaching people how to podcast. And we want to become the example community for how to create really good communities. And we have become that in Circle, which is the platform we use. I'm also an advisor to the company. They always use SPI Pro and the SPI Academy as examples for how to run a legit community that gets people results. And the beauty of this is it's not just the way the communities are built, it's built into the idea of community. Results will come as a result of bringing people together. And this is why we're focused on community much more than just the individual courses that we're promoting and that we did for four to five years where we would just kind of, you know, really just hammer our list all the time. Uh, it wasn't of the best value to do that. And now, uh, we're going to hammer home this idea of joining one of our communities. And we hope you will too. And we hope that if you are going to create a community of your own too, that you can, you know, borrow and even steal a lot of the ideas that we have. Uh, we have a lot of things that keep people engaged. And I want to answer Christian's question from earlier about keeping people engaged. In fact, maybe I can get a tip from each of you, David first, and then Ashley about how you help the community stay engaged. And then, and, and then I have some tips as well. And we can go to the next question from there. So David, how do we in SPI Pro um, maintain sort of consistent engagement? What's, what's maybe one uh, method that we use to do that? Yeah, I, it's, it's, a, it's a tricky one, right? But I, I think one of the key things we've done that consistently works is letting you all know that we care and we are watching what you're doing. Uh, when we see stuff come through from our members, that's, you know, a huge win or hugely exciting, or even when they're struggling with a problem or something, members of our team will jump on that and respond. Um, just letting our communities know that the people in them are not alone. We are paying attention. Um, you're all there for each other. Um, but we're we're here for you too um and that that really helps with the engagement people when people feel seen they show up and they they talk and they share their experiences and the the conversation happens so um that that's my favorite way to get our engagement going is just letting people know that we're here and that's great too because once a person says like oh they they see me no way like they they notice me i mean that's you know, a lot of us are online and not getting noticed, of course. So when somebody finally gives you some attention, then of course, great. And that encourages more engagement after that, right? It, it, it kind of snowballs. And then other people who are maybe lurking, see that somebody shows up and responds, then they feel more safe to then show up too. And it kind of has this, like I said, snowball effect, which is really cool. So that's a great lesson there for anybody creating communities, um, especially if you're starting out and especially if the group is a lot smaller, try to be quick and reply and make those people feel like they're heard so that they're not talking into sort of an empty void, right? Uh, great, great one. Um, Ashley, how about you? 
I think mine's really similar to David's. I would say the biggest thing I try to do is just listen to our members and figure out what they need. And so every event I plan, everything, every like topic I bring up, I try to bring up like a roundtable topic on Wednesdays. Um, I plan, like I said, in Learner, we have a minimum of four events a month. All access passes even more. And the topics are based on what our members need the most. Mm. Um, we recently had um, a... Um, like a mental health chat for entrepreneurs recently, because uh, people, a couple of people voiced like, we would love to just have a space to sit down and talk about it's hard being an entrepreneur and like share solutions with one another. So we had a coffee chat about that. Um, the events that we plan, um, the accelerators we have are based on what the community wants. Um, mm -hmm. Our upcoming accelerator has been asked for for two months now, and we're finally making it happen with our YouTube from scratch course. Um, and so just, I think that's my biggest advice is listen to your community members and figure out how you can serve them the best that you can. Beautiful. One tip that I have to share in communities to encourage other people. In fact, you as a community owner or, or facilitator, administrator, moderator, you'll be able to see connections between members that they don't know themselves, right? You might see somebody who has a struggle. You might know somebody else who's just gone through that and has solved it in some way. Make that connection. What's beautiful in circles, you can make that connection in a direct message, but you can also make that connection in a public forum. And you can just kind of at tag like you would on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. Um, and just kind of be like, hey, I know so and so. I know David's done that before. Let um, I hope to hear from him soon because I know he has experience with that. And that's really powerful because you see both people, and you're able to like. There, there, there's this idea of being a connector in the space that is the hardest part about not having a community when it comes to providing value to your audience. A huge value to your audience is to be a connector, right? Much like email introductions can be, but those are more on a private level, but do this publicly and it just heightens your brand overall, which I really love. So Christian, I hope that helps with regards to increasing engagement. And I had answered your question in the chat earlier with regards to the idea of sort of creating rituals, you know, uh, a day of the week, for example, where they can then share something specific, right? So um, I don't know if it's a, uh, a, a, a weight, loss community for example maybe it's just you make it a pattern that every monday you you have everybody share a picture of their feet on the scale or um you uh, take a picture of everybody's fridge open so that we can all hold each other accountable on the foods that are in there right like you can create whatever rituals you want but again you want to lead first and then have people follow you from there which is which is really great cool uh next there was a question from bunny about facebook and having a community there versus maybe having it on circle. Um, there are a lot of reasons why Facebook groups are great. I mean, people are on Facebook and it's something that many people are familiar with, but I just generally worry about playing in the Facebook sandbox and building something like that, excuse me, in a in, in somebody else's, you know, playbook or or, or playground uh, with their own specific rules. Cause I, any, like, I remember, let me know if this was you. Uh, back in 2010 to 2015, Facebook pages were like the big deal, right? And you'd create a following there. And all of a sudden, I don't know what year it was, maybe 2015, 2016, they were like, you know what? Pages aren't valuable anymore. And it's just like, pff, like the reach was just totally gone, right? And, and Facebook can do that at any time. When you build a community on a platform like Circle, by the way, we do have an affiliate link for Circle as well, smartpassiveincome.com slash Circle. It, it, it becomes a, a community that you get to own and you facilitate and you get to create the rules yourself. Very important that when you onboard and you'll see if you come into our communities, the onboarding process is super special. It's very, very important because it sets the tone. Uh, you'll see that we set certain rules and we have ex uh, expectations on um, on that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah. Um, and then, you, you know, it becomes a place for you to just interact and be a part of the crew. You know, sometimes us on our team, we need reminders to get in there and get it, get more involved. And we love that. And again, the at tagging thing could be great. Uh, circle is fantastic. And, and, and either way, these principles of engagement work. Uh, we, we have moved people from Facebook to circle before, and that's always a big task, right? Uh, a lot of people don't like change. A lot of people push back against that. But when you know that there's more valuable there, here's the, here's the way to do it. You do it in phases. Phase one is you bring all the like super excited people in and you, provide a lot of value there and you get those people 
to come back to the Facebook group and say, guys, you're missing out. Like, this is so much better over here. You know, you have your loud people saying to the everybody else who's lurking, like, this is this is the future of the community. Like, you, got, you all got to sign up, and that will help encourage people. And eventually, you want to have a close date, an end date where your Facebook group is going to go away, especially if it's a free one, because it could take a lot out of you to manage that free community. When it's filtered through... Uh, another community like on circle then you know that those are the players who want to be there they're not just like freeloading they're there because uh they want to provide value and 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 that as well um and uh prathima says i'm sorry but unless you interact in facebook groups you don't see anything and the the algorithm does play a role in that as well uh let's see here member led events one of the most powerful things that happens inside of spi pro in fact we even hand the mic over to spi pro members on the spi podcast so our podcast, Smart Passive Income, which has seen like 70 million downloads over the over the course of its lifetime, uh, a lot of those downloads are now going over to SPI Pro members who we see can provide a lot of value, even more than we can at times, based on their specific wins and learnings and, and struggles and challenges and, and how they've overcome them over time. Uh, it's it's an entire chapter in my book as well. It's called Spotlight Your Members. Uh, I tell the story of how like when you put a spotlight on your members, uh, it, it only makes people love your brand more because they see a version of themselves in those stories that you're telling. This is very much on brand with uh, Donald Miller and his book, Story Brand. And the beauty of having a community is now you have a place where your community is sharing all the great things that are happening. It's a perfect place to pull people and, and bring them into the public spotlight. It's just, again, there are so many, so many exponential benefits of having a community. Uh, it, it's one of my favorite things. Um, to finish off here, David, maybe I can have you share and then Ashley, I'll have you finish off with like, what's your favorite part about what we've built here as far as the communities and, and, and what you're seeing as a result uh, inside of the, the groups that you you own? Oh my gosh. Um, like everything, but the, the um, I, I think when, when we see things come through in the like, share your win section where like someone posts something and they just they hit a massive milestone or I, I, I make it to that next thing that they've been trying to get there and trying to get there but they either haven't had haven't had the right like nudge in the right direction or they're fighting imposter syndrome or whatever it is that's getting them to that next point when we see the like in real time people connecting to push them past that next thing um it's it, it just like it it makes it's a reminder that like this isn't we're not just like talking at you and like using a bunch of like buzzwords and stuff like i know it can sometimes feel like that but like it's the real deal like it's really it really works and when we see how all of the efforts and strategy and just love and support we dump into this thing like when we see it all work um, that's the thing that keeps me logging back in every day. Um, it's 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 wild. Like it really it feels like magic, at, but it's totally real. Um, so I I just I love seeing the like tangible successes um, and tracing it back to where where the conversation started. Did that answer? I think that answered the question. I maybe just like <laughs> no, it does, it does, and it's it's funny. Here, deluded here says, would you say that it's fair to say that SPI Pro is a group therapy and support for budding entrepreneurs? Um, there is a lot of therapy involved with coaching. I think we all know, right? And this isn't a coaching platform. This is a community platform. But a lot of times, it all just comes down to the human human element, right? We we got to get over the limiting beliefs that we have in order to get to the next level. We 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 need help on what those next steps might be. We get inspired by somebody who's already gone through those steps and have made the same mistakes, right? So in a way, yeah. Although I want to correct something. SPA Pro is not for budding entrepreneurs. These are for entrepreneurs who have had some results who want to scale those results. The all access pass and the learner community perhaps are more uh, quote unquote for the budding entrepreneurs. And especially if you want some specific information about how to do certain things, like how to monetize your brand, then you can go through the monetization pathway or the income pathway inside of the all access pass. Or if you're a podcaster specifically or want to get into podcasting, you go through the podcasting pathway. And then there are groups of people who go through those things together inside of the all access pass. So uh, yeah, def de definitely some therapy kind of situations going on. We are not therapists, but 
All we know is what we've done and what works and what doesn't. And to bring more people who have that what works and what doesn't experience is just such a beautiful thing because we're only us and you're only you, but together we're just so much more powerful, right? So smartpassiveincome.com slash community. We'll finish up with Ashley. Ashley, what's your favorite thing about the communities we built here and the fa your favorite thing to see? I think mine is related to David's, but it's more on a weekly basis, seeing how we have um, within the all access pass specifically, um, we have th these weekly call the coffee chat calls where you can just get on and then our cohort calls as well for accelerators. And e everybody who joins and puts in that work to join when they can really gets to know one another and seeing that community form over time and seeing the growth that happens from week to week. So very similar to David, but really just chatting from week to week. Like yesterday, we're like, oh, Lisa, you got a new office. Like it looks so great. And just like the community aspect and seeing ourselves not only as business owners, but getting to know the lives of each other too, and how that intertwines with running your own business and really just seeing other people help each other grow. Um, like, yes, you're there for yourself too, but some of the biggest like breakthroughs and growth points I've seen have been when other members have helped each other with their experience and their knowledge. Um, so yeah, just seeing the community element in action has been really great. Awesome. Well, thank you, David. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, everybody who's here. JP, Bunny, Deluge, uh, Deluded, and Jillian, of course, who's our community director, who's been manning the chat as well. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Christian, make it better. And uh, just thank you for your time today. We appreciate you. We hope you'll get involved in one of our communities. You can go to smartpassiveincome.com slash community if you'd like to check that out. But if not, hopefully you've gotten something to take away from as well as you begin to mold your brand and bring your people together. And really, that's what this is all about. And hopefully uh, you can see maybe there's some room for here in, uh, in your life and in our community as well. So again, smartpassiveincome.com slash community. Look forward to seeing you there and uh, have a good one. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time. Cheers, everybody. Thanks, y'all. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks for joining.